speaking about why they support Senator Obama. Uh, also another maid of Israelis on the street talking about why they support Senator Obama. I mention those because they're very moving uh, and convincing. And what I want to say in, in no uncertain terms is, is my conviction uh, that we can trust Senator Obama on Israel. Uh, it's an issue that, that feels clear, uh, and it's also an issue of paramount importance, obviously, to many of us. The issues that are of most concern to the Jewish community include Israel, of course, but also encompass a lot more. What are Jewish issues? Why, how do Jews vote? Why do Jews vote? And the Talmud deals with everything from women's rights to relations between Jews and non-Jews to how we treat the poor. It really leaves no stone unturned. Um, so when we talk about Jewish values and Jewish issues, there's a lot at stake here. Uh, we are called as Jews to have these values guide our public as well as our private lives. And it's along the lines of what I would call traditionally Jewish values and issues that I think Senator Obama dramatically distinguishes himself as a candidate. I know many of us have been hit over the head with too many policy discussions, so I'll, I'll keep this part brief. Um, but I do want to at least begin the conversation because I think it's an important conversation to have to make the issues clearer uh, so we're not relying on innuendo uh, and rumors and a lot of what has, has dominated the campaign uh, to this point. I truly believe that Obama will make us more secure abroad as Israelis and Americans. As a commander-in-chief, he will renew our standing in the international community make us that more able to be part of coalitions and partnerships in the war on terror, which we cannot fight alone. Regarding Iran, without taking any options off the table, he has called for diplomacy, the attempt at diplomacy, to make clear US and international expectations. And Obama actually authored and introduced an Iran Sanctions Enabling Act, which makes it easier for his state and local governments to divest from Iran. And this was an act that he, uh, that he developed after conversations, or as a result of conversations with former Prime Minister uh, Bibi Netanyahu. McCain, in fact, it's worth noting, I think voted against the bill, uh, just so Senator Obama would not have that particular political victory. Obama has outlined his plan very clearly to continue to make us safer in explicit ways, our airports, our, 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 our ports, uh, and also implicitly, I think, by really modeling uh, a leadership that's less belligerent, better informed, and calm under fire. Uh, just yesterday morning, I was giving a, a talk to the, the leadership class of 10 and 11 year olds at Sacred Heart School in, uh, in Bennington, Vermont. And, and as a result of this conversation, we really came to the conclusion, myself and the kids, that a good leader was someone who listened, 